Hello and welcome to this video, my name is ActiQ and today I want to talk about Jagex involving with the community in order to make the new updates such as the Elf City. The background of this video is just me doing my daily challenge for Dungeoneering and it's me doing a warped medium floor, so feel free to look away or just minimize the window. I will leave links to at least some of the Elf City documents to this video so you can read them through yourself. I'm not going to go into much detail about the documents because I just want to talk about the process of Jagex working with the community. So with the power to the players, Jagex decided that they would be much more open with the community and listen to what the community wants for the future updates and this has been working pretty well and they have been really informing us with the future upcoming things. And the good thing about this is that we have people that are reading through all the design documents for the Elf City and then they are updating other people for the new future upcoming things. But on the other hand, there's also so much data about the Elf City that we already know that nothing that they will give us will come with a surprise. And lately, since I've been pretty busy with my own things, I really haven't had the time to really sit down and take a look at all of the Elf City documents. My friend Otaguares, or not a rare name, has just been informing me about those things, but I haven't really read them through that much myself, because it's a little bit too much to keep up with all the things that Jagex is trying to release to RuneScape, so I don't really want to put my time into design documents since everything can change before they actually release the thing to the game. So even though the increased openness about the new updates and the increased amount of betas is a nice thing in my opinion, I think Jagex is starting to involve us in these things a bit too early. Because releasing all this data about the Elf City or any other future update makes small but significant changes to how we react to new updates. So firstly there is no surprise when the update comes to RuneScape because we already know pretty much how it's gonna look like. So the effects of the new updates to the market system can be much wider and much more drastic since we get all this information in small bits and the information keeps on changing all the time. So for example Jagex can release an update to the beta where they nerf the seismic wand and instantly in the game the seismic wand crashes in price and then Jagex changes the seismic wand in the beta and then the price jumps back up. And when the update actually comes, the prices of the seismic wand either go skyrocketing up or it crashes down again. So every update affects the market multiple times before it finally stabilizes and finds its place in the runescape. And personally, I find this a big, big downside to the power to the players and Jagex being more open with the updates. However, I also do see the positive sides of Jagex working with the community because, for example, we have been waiting for the Elf City for almost 10 years and now that it's finally coming to RuneScape, I'm very glad that Jagex is making it as big and as major as they have promised. So even though there is not going to be as big a surprise as there would be if Jagex would just develop it and then just show sneak peeks of it and then finally release it, at least we know that it's not going to be as broken as the Evolution of Combat when Evolution of Combat was released. But when you look back to the times when Jagex were developing Evolution of Combat, even back then they tried to work with the community and they gave us the beta for the Evolution of Combat, but the problem was that nobody accessed the beta. So that all ended up with Jagex releasing a broken Evolution of Combat that was broken for at least six months, it had great defects and it was just completely unfinished and a lot of the things weren't really thought through. And I think that Jagex trusting the players to test the betas is also a big downside to this new openness thing. Because to be honest, when Jagex is going to release the legacy mode beta, I doubt that that many people are going to play legacy mode beta completely and test all the bugs and glitches from the game. 
and I think that it's gonna just end up looking so that Jagex will release an unfinished legacy mode to RuneScape and we will have similar problems as with the launch of Evolution of Combat, but hopefully at least in a smaller scale. So even though all this openness is cool and it's very nice that we are getting some info for the updates before they come to RuneScape so that we can as a community prevent the most horrible updates to RuneScape, such as the Prestige system, I think that Jagex has to keep in mind that they are the game company that's providing the game for us and it's not our responsibility to test the game for glitches so if they are releasing updates that are not finished completely I find it quite unprofessional. And this was most certainly the case with the Evolution of Combat update, so all we have to hope is that they don't do the same mistakes with the Legacy mode, where they release a version of the Legacy mode that's so broken that there are systems in the Legacy mode that are for example three times the XP per hour than they are in the Evolution of Combat. And as a paying customer and as a long time RuneScape player, I just hope that Jagex tests their betas before they release them, because if the legacy mode beta is gonna be as glitched as the EOC beta, nobody's gonna test it out and it's gonna end up being released very glitchy. So I think that's it for this video, and I just wanted to raise my concerns of Jagex working with the community too much, because not everybody can read through all the posts about future update, and most certainly not everybody is going to play the betas and test it out for glitches, because it's not our job, we are paying customers, we are playing this game for fun, and that's the way it should be. So that's all for this time, if you wanna leave some comments we can discuss about this, and you can also subscribe and like the video, but other than that thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.